Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Devin from Weston Audio, giving you a little demo of this B2 kick and bass module for Eurorack DIY. As we got this chill little track here in the background. Let me mute this. So first, uh, let's look at the kick part. Uh, it's pretty similar to B1, but the trigger and uh, envelope circuit have been reworked so that you can go to a really short attack without, uh, even if the notes are overlapping, uh, and the shortest one is about 25 microseconds, it's really short, and uh, you can hear there, those notes are overlapping, and it sounds the same. Uh, we've got the two envelope set up like B1, um, and this is the uh, bend amount. Okay. Now the wave mixer is a little bit different, and that'll be more apparent when I go into the bass mode, but uh, basically you've got a mix between the sub sine wave which is really low here and the uh, whatever is on the right side which is unto itself a mix of the sine wave and it, these three switch selections here which is a uh, square saw and 2x frequency saw okay and uh, sort of in the, the same manner as uh, B1, you can use the filter and actuate it with the bend envelope. Okay, now let us, oh yeah, and of course I have uh, this just going at one frequency, but it has the one volt per octave input, so. This is where you can hear that sub can really make it sound pretty huge. if you've got low enough frequency response on your speakers. All right. This right hand one is doing the bass line. You can see we're using the velocity input. You hear those notes at the end there. Uh, in, in three modes, uh, the uh, the top one that, that we're using, the bend envelope that we're using for the filter, it could be um, uh, just an attack decay, uh, and then we can uh, we can do uh, attack release on the filter envelope, or we can do attack release on both of them. Now the filter itself is a, uh, it's been replaced, the uh, low pass is uh, now a multi-mode filter. So you've got low pass and band pass and a high pass. So you've got quite a few options there. And the resonance can get pretty rowdy if you want. Now 
Now here's this. It's it's pretty nice uh, the variety of sounds you can get with this wave mixer because not only can you do these three waves here mixed with the sign, you have this fat sub, which you really hear. That's all sub. So when it's on subwoofer and uh, sub <laughs> sine wave and um, this mixed here with a bit of the regular frequency sign and the 2x saw you're covering three octaves it's pretty big good little overview and uh, there's some more sound samples up on my SoundCloud and uh, yeah enjoy 